Yo, what's good, gang? All right, so Coach Dion Primetime Sanders um, has officially taken the job in Colorado, I'm assuming, after Jackson State has went undefeated, um, went going 12 and 0 for the season. Now, a lot of uproar because one, they say, well, he just used the HBCU to how would I say, uh, prop himself up and then go get the bag, right? Most people would say Coach Prime is going to chase the bag. I mean, who wouldn't go chase the bag after going 12 and 0? Me personally, I feel like he did his job. He brought attention to the HBCUs. He brought talent to the HBCUs and he brought eyes to the HBCUs. Now, do you expect Coach Prime to dogfight and how would I put it? Um, thug it out in the HBCU for the culture. Or is he going to do like any other great and chase that bag? Well, it looks like he's going to chase that bag. And after their undefeated season, um, we have Coach Prime addressing his team directly. So we're going to go ahead and tap into this. Y'all go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, click that bell. And let's see what Coach Prime has to say to his team. And we'll chime in as we go. So, Coach Prime, what you got to say to your boys, man? Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Get straight to the point, huh, Coach? And that right there is the reason why I fuck with Coach Prime no matter what. Because he's not lying to them. He said, I want you to hear it from the horse's mouth before you hear it from the media's mouth on what's going on. You're gonna get it from the source itself before you get it from the source. It is what it is. Either in- No, no cap, that's facts. Mm-hmm. Get a better job or you get fired, as simple as that. See, the, that means you're doing your job or you're not. Yes, sir. I'm going to finish what we started. We're going to dominate. I'm going to be here to that end and that conclusion. And then when that conclusion. So y'all heard it there. He said he wants to be here so they can dominate until this part of his career is over. I like that, though. He said that he's there until it's done. thinking uh, something is better on the other side in regard to some of you. I would like to have the opportunity to meet with some mm -hmm. of you. You don't go and jump in the portal. Man. In the portal. I don't want that to happen. Because some Speak that real, know, coach. Let them know. Like that, and it's not. Um, that portal will be loaded on, is it Monday, fella? The transfer portal. The portal's open. It'll be loaded. Because that's what we've done for some of y'all when we were trying to acquire y'all. We called and we asked your coaches and when we knew what kind of character, what is it. And I don't want you thinking since you have the Jackson State um, awards on you that people are just going to flock to you and they're going to lace you like that. This is uh, one of the best universities, I believe, certainly in FCS. That you could have and, uh, coach, mm -hmm, coach Prom did that, brought that program up, up. And I'm trying my best with this wonderful gentleman to help choose this next guy for you. Um, my recommendation would go to TC. Uh, they know how I feel about TC. I want TC and uh, several of the staff members are going to be retained here, but to still keep the job. That's real. And, and that right there is real. Like he said, even if I leave, 
he's giving these kids some great advice. He's saying, even if I leave, y'all don't jump ship because it ain't the grass ain't greener on the other side. You feel me? In a situation like this, a lot of attention comes because Coach Prime is the coach. Jackson State is the talk of the town. But he's right. You can't jump into that transfer portal thinking that the name of Jackson State and Coach Prime is going to get you into any college you want or get any door open because it doesn't work like that. In a sense, you're resetting. You're restarting. Um, but Coach Prime is right when it comes down to who, who he wants as the head coach. He wants to keep the culture alive. He wants to know that somebody that has already been a part of his program and knows what the culture he's trying to bring and change, he wants that to stay. He wants that to stay, which I totally agree with. You want to keep the culture the same, at least that way. So those kids that don't know what they're going to do, they feel more comfortable staying in the situation they're already in because – it's already a familiar situation. You're already familiar with the coaches. You're already familiar with the staff, the school. It's not like you're trying to restart and rebrand yourself again when you already have a brand at Jackson State. He doesn't want a big culture shift and culture switch. his sole decision. So don't put it on him. He has a hierarchy that he must go to for that to happen, right? AB, I would not be here if it weren't for this man. With all, you have no idea the trials and tribulations that we put back to back <laughs> worked out for some of the things that you don't even know about. Some of the things that y'all have no idea about. And uh, I'm not tired of fighting whatsoever, but if I heard God's voice, on comments. That's real. I guess of my hearing ability. I know God. And I know when he shifts and I know when he moves. And I know how he gets down with me. I always, I've, I always question things when I was a player. How can you be so dominant and have to play for five football teams? That don't make sense to me. I ask God that often. But then I had to understand when he's taking you from face to face and glory to glory and allowing you to provoke change in different places, that's why he would allow me to play for five darn football teams and four baseball teams But because it, it doesn't supposed to happen like that. But I understand the calling that he has on my life. Um, and I feel like I got to do something about it. It's been four or more African-American head coaches at the next level that has been terminated. He basically saying, I, I got to, God is calling me to make this change in my life again, um, which I totally get. What do you say? Four black head coaches have been terminated. He wants to change the culture. He wants to bring a winning culture to college football with a name of a popular black head coach. He's doing it for the culture. Mm -hmm. So to me, that's a problem that many don't think about, but that's a problem. If someone don't step, that part. Up step out and hold it down for us as a problem. And many of detractors, I guess they don't understand college football consists of 70% African-American. I don't care where you're at. It just happens to be more at an HBCU. But it's not like I'm not going to speaking to the lives of young African that part and women. it don't matter what the school is it's all the same because my challenge is still that part change, no matter where I am and I'm gonna be me real talk I'm 55 and I don't plan on changing no time soon um, God made me like this and, and, and I think God is pleased with what he's created this is probably the toughest moment for me ever because it involves y'all it wouldn't be shit. It didn't involve y'all. I'm out. But when I talked about his story and understand some of you all stories that I've come to know and the seeing the progression 
and seeing what is never being out there today and just seeing what some of you guys uh, have to. Yeah, they went undefeated, bro. <laughs> you can't beat that, bro. They went undefeated. They talked their shit. They did their thing. That, that got me. That's, that's the thing. That's hey, that's real, though. He, he's doing it for he, he Ultimately, it's a career decision, but it's really because of the kids. I'm going to let you make it a day, baby girl. I'm going to let you make it. The equipment team, the training staff, uh, the media staff, the photography staff. GAs, uh, I see you, Jan, um, everybody All right, coach. included. Uh, I'm trying to get to the good stuff. My bad, y'all. I always felt like if you don't talk to me about it so I can set you straight, so I can give you some real direction on life. You know, I hate to sit through this meeting if I was one of them, no. Coach. I was coming back to working for us. This is what we just had right here. It's called where we left when we went to Atlanta. And I think all y'all who was here, and we all felt that, y'all know what that means because we gave them that game. And my whole thing was I want to finish my play. So I know a lot of y'all want to make y'all decisions, but I never fought y'all for that. But I want y'all to remember. Hey, no cap. We came back and we tried to do this again, and we tried to run this back. I want y'all to have my back like I had y'all. That was the main thing. Coach know, and I talked to him before that game period, for this game in Atlanta. I don't want to get this up. And I just don't want to finish where we started. You know what I'm saying? So I want y'all to think about me. If it ain't now, I want y'all to think about me. You know what I'm saying? Everything else is going to be there. But I want to finish where we started, bro. And I, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I cried after that game. And you know what I'm saying? Just because we gave him that. And I want to get all y'all in the eyes, so I want y'all to know that. I came back for y'all. I want y'all to think about me, though, bro. Think about me. That's all I'm saying. Think about the team. Think about these guys we just won this year, this season. And we ain't had this last year. We lost two games two seasons. So just think about this story. We still making his story. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, and I think that right there is the culture that Coach Prime is trying to shift towards. Um, like he said, bro, don't think about y'all. Think about what we came from. Think about what we accomplished. Think about what we did. Think about how we were last year compared to this year. Think about the culture shift. Think about everything. This is not a just about Coach Prime. This is not just about Coach Prime. This is about a culture. This is about how one man can change a culture. This is about if you step out your fucking comfort zone and apply yourself to your people, they will reciprocate it and you'll get what you want. I don't care what you say. I ain't heard not. I heard more about Jackson State in the last two years with Coach Prime than I ever have before. And it ain't bad stuff. It's great stuff. And even what I'm seeing is great stuff. That's the culture, bro. That's the culture shift. When I'm talking about his story, you know I'm talking about you. Because uh, that just don't happen. The way it happened, the way it worked out. And uh, it's funny because we were doing media the other day, and they say, who do you think is going to be some of the all-star Negroes? I said, I'll just tell you like this. I don't know how many touches that he's going to get, but if 38 touches touch that ball, he's going to make something happen in this game. So. Coach is just talking. All right, so at the end of the day, it looks like Coach Prime is going to Colorado. He had to address his team. We're going to leave it at that. Uh, other than that, like I said, it's the culture. It's the culture shift. Ultimately, what he did for Jackson State is going to be a culture shift, but will that trickle down to other HBCUs where they hire former pros to change their staff? I mean, it starts with us and it ends with us. So if you want to see the change, be the change. The Coach Prime has clearly shown you that if you want to be the change, create the change, and everybody else will follow. But that's going to do for this one, man. Coach Prime is taking that Colorado job. I believe it's for like five mil, five to 10 million. Um, 
heard of some might go with them. Might take a couple of players with them. We don't know. We will find out. But y'all go ahead and leave y'all comments on this video. How do y'all feel about Coach Prime leaving Jackson State and taking the job at Colorado? I mean, me personally, I think he's a real one for addressing his team before the media can even say anything. I mean, that's 100. You address your boys before anybody else can. So nobody can tarnish your name on the back end. You feel me? Mm, but that's all I have to say about this one. Y'all go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, click that bell, and leave your thoughts on this Deion Sanders situation and how you feel he's going to do at Colorado. But other than that, this your boy Weasel, and I'm out this thing. Yeet!